plenty of power in the 2 litre diesel engine. It's also got a deployable tow bar at the back, there's a switch in the boot, put a key in it, turn the knob and the tow bar drops down from underneath.
Okay, I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in the 4T Max. First thing to do is make sure that Bluetooth is actually switched on. It probably will be, but just in case you're having no luck pairing your phone, if you go to Menu, then Sync Settings, click the middle button there, okay. You see there Bluetooth, there's no tick next to Bluetooth on, so we'll click that. Then click down to Bluetooth Devices, click OK, no, no paired phones, please add phone. Now there you've got add and cancel, so these buttons here along the bottom correspond to the... Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. So now we make sure Bluetooth's on on the phone. It's showing you a pin number there, 98411, it's brought up sync, click sync, Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. So click pair, and on there it says, does it match? Yes, left, no, right, so yes. It's waiting for phone confirmation. It's showing it's connected there. Pairing successful, that's it done. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. I don't want to download the phone book because I won't be using the car again. But also, the other great thing with the Ford system is it will play your music. Now I've just clicked onto my iTunes and as you can see there at the bottom, it's given me the choice of Sync or iPhone. Sync will play through here. I will have to turn the music down, otherwise YouTube will see it as a copyright infringement and wipe the whole soundtrack of this video out. But if I click that, what you have to do now, onto auxiliary. No USB device. Again, that's it. Basically, just click the auxiliary until your BT audio comes up and that's it as you can see. I'll, I'll just turn it up. So that's it. I'll just show you how to delete a a phone from the Bluetooth audio system just in case it's full or it's the previous owner's telephones. Um, click menu, sync settings, click OK in the centre. You've got Bluetooth on there, Bluetooth devices. So if we click the down arrow onto BT devices, Bluetooth devices, it's showing mine and at the bottom there, which corresponds to these buttons here, you've got add, delete or connect. Now I want to delete it so it's the second button in. Delete Barry's iPhone, and again, yes is left, no is right, so I want to. And that's it, it's deleted. Sim simple as that. I'll just show you how to uh, use the sat nav here. Um, four buttons around this thumb wheel and selector. Navigation is there. You've got to click OK so you're not going to be distracted. Let's turn that down a bit, sorry. So destination input, click down, click OK, set your postcode with PR5 for JS. So we'll go for city and postcode. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantley Dale. So that's P, select, R, select, Five, four, J, oops, S. PR5, four JS, gives you the choices here. OK, back to the keyboard, back or cancel, we want OK. And then start on the left, store, coordinates, map. So start again corresponds to that button. 
few too many choices for my liking, but eco, fast, short. So we'll go for fast, click OK. The route has been calculated. That's it. Okay, I'll just show you how to operate the uh, park assist in this Ford C-Max. First of all, the switch is just here below the climate controls. As you can see there, it's kind of giving an acoustic signal over there to the left, searching for a parking space. So we move forward slowly. recognize the parking space it now says active park green arrow forward drive forward so forward we go release steering select reverse gear here's the clever bit I shall now operating the clutch and the accelerator and the car is steering on its own. Now tell me to drive forward. Turn the wheel on full lock. It's extremely close. Drive backwards. Park completed. Now, just to put this into perspective, it's a very narrow gap. There's also a lamppost just at the back there, and there's a wall there, um, so pretty difficult on the best of days. 